Hello! It feels like episode two today. It's really weird, like filming consistently, uploading two times. It's interesting. But hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we're gonna just jump straight into it really quickly. So, as you saw from the title today, we're gonna be talking about my journey to self love while I do my makeup routine. It's gonna be a very chill video, just kind of getting back into the group of YouTube, talking about it, and just kind of getting into addressing kind of like gender stereotypes and roles and things like that that I never really talked about in this channel, but uh, just kind of getting into that for a little bit. So let's start. I already prepped and primed this beautiful little face of mine. This routine is going to be extremely simple. It is the easiest thing. So I'm going to be starting with the Morphe 2 lightweight coverage uh, foundation in the shade Hint of Honey. I think it's a little bit yellow for me, but it works. You guys see my $1 mirror from a uh, Dollar Tree? We love Dollar Tree. I, I want to talk about my journey to self-love before I get into that stereotypes conversation, but I actually hate myself a lot more than people think, or at least, I mean, I'm, I'm working on loving myself a lot more, but for a long time, I hated myself so much. I had so much resentment for who I was and what I could be and who I could be, and that really got in the way of loving myself I think for a long time I was trying to be everybody's I was trying to be liked not liked necessarily because I don't really care about being liked but I was just trying to look like a good person in everyone's eyes and I realized in doing that I became a person I'm not even like a person that I'm not and then because I was suppressing myself so much I started in inhab inhabiting or inhibiting bad habits, I don't know which word it is, that I'm not proud of. You know, ever since I graduated high school, I've been on a mission to find out who I am and, and who I want to be and become a person that I'm absolutely in love with. And I think that when this year started, I fully told myself, I am now going to become the person I want to be. I'm now going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, Satin Finish in the shade Medium Golden. Yeah, so I think that I've been doing multiple things to try to find ways to love myself. So. I started meditating to self-love, to self-love things. Like started meditating to self-love mantras and like self-love affirmations. And you know, I was talking to my friend last night, and he was and he was asking me because I'm now you know a lot further in my self-love journey than I was before, and he's trying to go on his self-love journey. And he was asking me like, how do you do that? And I was like, you really like, you know, the fake it till you make it phrase is real. You really just have to fake it till you make it. And you will reach a point where it becomes easier and life just doesn't feel like it's always, uh, <laughs> you know, it's always punching me in the face. And I've always been the type of person to not blame life for anything that I've done. I believe that karma is real and I believe that good karma and bad karma both comes your way, whichever way they need to, and get to a point of loving and elevating myself and I feel like I have been doing that. I'm now going to go in with the Milani cream blush in the shade Coral Crush 120 but I want to jump into gender roles and stereotypes for a second. So I grew up in a very hyper masculine toxic masculinity environment and it was very competitive. I grew up with three brothers and two are older than me, one is younger than me. And it was a very much a competitive environment, very much a sports loving, a wrestling loving, just like everything that masculinity defines. It was very much that household growing up. And I like I have always just been an effeminate different kid from my family always. And you know, from a young age, my mom never discouraged me from being who I wanted to be and like I, like indulging the things that I wanted to indulge in. But it was just, there was an evident divide in our family because I was just different. And you know, now I'm in a place now where I've gone through the journey of hiding and masking and being more than and, and overzealous and obnoxious with, you know, my femininity and, you know, going going on the opposite side of the radar and being as masculine as possible. And now I've reached a point where I found that kind of equilibrium and peace within myself, hopefully. So now I feel a lot more comfortable to post videos like this, not even bad an eye. So next I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the shade Plantain Caramel. We're at the home stretch, y'all. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Suntan Silky Matte uh, Bronzer in the shade 03, or maybe the shade is Suntan, I don't really know. But we're gonna go in with this with a Morphe brush from the Rose, I think the Rose Collection or something like that. Nah, Black Pink Rose, I wish it was though. Going back to Hyper Masculinity thing though, I remember I filmed a tutorial um, using the James Charles palette. This is when I lived 
in California and I remember I did a tutorial and I loved it. I remember filming that video in general was terrible just because that whole thing was a mess like my camera kept shutting off it's actually this baby I don't know if you guys can see it this one right here can you guys see that yeah it was that camera and it like dies every freaking 45 minutes this one lasts hours it's amazing but oh by the way the camera I film with this is Canon 70D <laughs> I remember filming that video and I posted it and then this was literally like a few weeks before the James Charles scandal, the Tati, Tati Westbrook James Charles scandal, like the first one, and I took it down for obvious reasons. I mean, at that point, we didn't know anything and, you know, I didn't want to take any risks. And then I put it back up, and then I remember I took it down again, like a month afterwards, and it was like, it was like the video did so well on the first day. And it was just like, I was so scared. Like I was so scared of, of what people think about me. I was so scared about reactions from people I haven't talked to in years and spoken to in years and what my family would think, blah, 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 blah. And now when I look back, it's like, why did I do that? And I mean, everyone has their reasons and you know, er the hesitations and safety and everything like that. But there was not, there was not an, like a, a very like obvious worry or anything like that. Like there was nothing stopping me essentially. And I didn't even live at home. I, you know, I've moved around a lot. So I don't know what really stopped me, but yeah, I did that. And I realized like after that moment, after a few, after I took it down, like at that moment, obviously I didn't have the mentality. I took it down for that reason. But then a few months later in like 2020, I realized, why did I do that? Like, what was the point? What was it worth it? And, and it was a little regrettable for me. And I, I'm upset that I did that. So after that moment, I realized, Nah, I just gotta start living for me and, and be myself and, and be as flamboyant or as masculine as I wanna be and enjoy being whoever I am. I gotta do a little bronzer on my nose. You gotta, this is gonna take a second, give me a second. By the way, the bronzer brush I use is from e.l.f. It was just an e.l.f. angled brush. And then this is the Morphe D62 brush. So yeah, now I am me. I am Jeremy and I love being who I am. I'm gonna do my brows really quickly with the L'Oreal Paris brow stylist definer in the shade dark brunette i feel like i have pretty good brows so i don't like go too heavy on anything sorry if those things were vague it's actually really hard to do your makeup and speak i don't know how the heck people do that so i don't like wearing lip things it's just i don't like things on my lip i don't like things on my eye eyelashes i don't i don't i don't really like heavy amount of makeup so i'm just gonna go in with this lip liner from nyx this lip pencil in the shade burgundy and i'm literally just gonna like lightly coat it get some of that pigment on there i'm gonna go in with just some carmex <laughs> put it on top i am done we're gonna finish it off with some wet and wild natural finish setting spray literally like four dollars and that is pretty much it i am done i had fun doing this video and i hope y'all enjoyed this video too very chill if y'all enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below whatever you want hit the notification bell you know all those things but yeah thank you all for watching and i hope y'all enjoyed this i will link all the products down below i don't know if they're going to be affiliate links but if they are affiliate links just let me know if they're affiliate links i don't know if they're going to be but if they are just let me know if they are affiliate links so i'm just letting you know okay bye y'all see you later <laughs> i dropped all the brushes i dropped all the brushes I dropped all the brushes